Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at the piece that actually got me into collecting Department 56, and that's uh, Grimsley Manor. It is the first piece that I ever bought and uh, absolutely love the piece. It is one of my all-time favorites, so much so that I actually have two of them. I've got one uh, essentially brand new, got really lucky and found that one. That one is on Manor Row, and then uh, the first piece that I bought did not come with a sound box, and uh, I put some fairy lights up in it. It's sitting behind me in the trick-or-treat lane. Uh, love both pieces, but uh, let's take a closer look at this. I think you guys will like it as well. Okay, guys, as you can see here, this is the uh, front of Grimsley Manor. Uh, you have to forgive me, the blue light bulb has burnt out. It's burnt out no less than three times this season. I've replaced it three times. It's a faulty bulb. It's not, it's, I don't think it's anything wrong with the actual uh, adapter that goes under there, but uh, I've read articles about the bulbs being pretty cheaply made, and it's, they're just hard to, to get a good one. So burnt out three times. So the lightning flash, when it goes out, the blue bulb should come on and flash lightning. It doesn't, it just kind of sits there, uh, just like that. And so that should be lightning flashing around the house with blue, and then it comes back on to the normal light. So that's not working. I'll show you the sound in a moment, but this is an, just an exquisite piece. It, it is such a remarkable haunted house. It looks just like you would imagine a haunted house looking, and the paint job on this is absolutely spectacular as always i'll zoom in as the sound is playing i'll give you a better look at the house itself but the the front porch is just really really eerie it's got some piled up leaves it's got a rocking chair i know it's a little a little tough to see in there but there's a rocking chair the door is kind of cracked open a jack-o-lantern on the front porch i love these trees they're old they're the kind of clinging to the house uh, and they're all over the place. I mean, they're just really, really well done there. And so that kind of adds to the spookiness of this house. There's bats uh, hanging uh, in four places on the front. Just a really, really nice job there. There's another one of those trees clinging to the house. You've got the old cellar uh, on the outside of the house, which just by itself is is sort of creepy. And then you've got the tree in the back. I don't spread these trees out a lot. I mean, you certainly can to make it look a lot better, but as Halloween is, uh, you know, approaching its end, uh, I've got to um, obviously, you know, put this back in the box and store it. And so that'll take up a little space. It's got a little bit of chip right there. Not, not bad all in all. Uh, and then the back of the house is great. I'll spin it around the other direction. You got, there's a back door. Uh, coming to the, to the back. This side is just as cool. It's got this little outcropping here, what looks like to be like a dining room window. Some curtains inside that one, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, and they're all torn and, and faded and dilapidated. And then you got a back door that's sort of sitting on there a little bit crooked and uh, it doesn't light up or anything in the back. Obviously, nobody would see it. Then you've got this railing that goes around the top of the house, which is just really well done. And it's taken a beating. It is it's fallen down, it's it's broken, and uh, you know, and that's the way it's supposed to be on the house. So love the design of this home. They they just don't make them like this anymore, unfortunately. This is uh in my opinion, this is department 56 at its finest. Now this house was originally released in 1999 and it was retired 10 years later in 2009. So you could get this house. That's why there's so many of them. If you do not have this house in your collection, I promise you, go find one. Find one on Macari, offer up eBay. You can get reasonably good deals. When this house first came out in 1999, it originally uh, the suggested retail price was $120. I got both of my houses for less than $120, right? And this one is almost brand spanking new. You've got the one little chip out of the back. Um, and quite honestly, I think I did that after I actually got it because I just noticed that when I turned it around for you guys, it wasn't like that uh, when I purchased it. So uh, a really, really, really good deal. Uh, so with that, let's take a really close look. I'm going to play the soundtrack for you. I don't like this soundtrack as much as I do the one for um, 
a Mordecai mansion, but it is a pretty good soundtrack. So you can hear the rocking chair in the front, you know, screeching. There's some monsters inside. And so with that, let's take a sound, uh, take a listen to the sound, and then I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see some of the detail on this piece. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a better look at the uh, the Grimsley Manor. It's such a great Department 56 piece. Now the sound, that was on low for the soundtrack. And so I normally don't display any of my village pieces with the sound turned on other than the, uh, the spooky schooner. I do like the sound of that with a lighthouse. So I keep that on a pretty low volume, but the volume is adjustable and so you can fine tune it. With these, you've got a low and a high and you heard it on low. It's incredibly loud on high. It would drive you completely bonkers trying to listen to that for you know three or four or five, six hours, however long your village is on every evening. And so I keep all that shut off so it doesn't really bother me. But um, all in all, I love this piece. It is one of my all time favorites. Again, it's so much so I have two of them. Uh, and so I don't think you can go wrong with this piece. There's plenty of them available. You'll find them all over eBay, Macari, OfferUp. They're pretty easy to find because they're so plentiful. And that keeps the price relatively uh, affordable. So if you don't have this in your collection, uh, consider it. It is a great piece. You will not be sorry, I promise. If you like the old school haunted house look, uh, this has got it in spades. I don't think you're going to find anything better than this. And and if you already have it, well, then congratulations. You know how cool it is. Um, if you like what you see, click the like button. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. That certainly helps me. I'm up to over 800 subscribers already. I've been doing this for maybe three and a half, four months, completely blown away and humbled. So thank you very, very much. It certainly means a lot. Um, I want to continue growing this channel. I want to continue doing this. I want to continue to provide you tutorials. And speaking of tutorials, you know, we're, we're, we're closing in on Halloween. I'm not making any more for Halloween, but I've been, I've been going a little bit crazy uh, getting ready for Christmas. And so the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to do it today, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll post both videos uh, on YouTube at the same time, but check this out. My next video, I want to show you guys how to make some winter trees. Yep, you heard me, winter. Christmas is coming. So I want to show you guys how you can make some ice uh, trees and some snow covered trees. And so I'm going to post a real quick tutorial uh, on where to buy the supplies and what you need, and then you can make these trees. So you got that to look forward to. Uh, certainly, again, appreciate uh, all the support you guys have given me. Uh, continue to uh, to watch the channel, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Take care.